Welcome back, YouTube. Uh, it's time to go down to pit. So, yeah, sorry, that's a really bad um, impression of a northern accent. Apologies to anyone that hails from the north. Uh, I do have family there. So, um, yeah, they'll probably beat me before you do. Uh, okay, anyway, enough waffling. I'm um, going to go with my standard pit raid team which is Tebow lead Kaigon who's slipping yay I'm liking the way he's slipping down the levels uh, my gear 11 fives who really has been unimpressive to say the least so far uh, who else Mr. Swiss Army himself Rex and the final part of this package is Dengar so um, I'm up to level 84 as you can see um, they're one of the teams or one of the groups of of my characters that I've promoted uh, most of my promotions have either been pit raid a lot for tank obviously and trying with my PvP um, which the meta has changed <sighs> yes it has it's uh, I'm seeing I'm the uh, top three are all it palp leads with shore and royal guards so I have I don't think I've uploaded it yet no no I haven't uh hang on have I sorry I'm looking on my YouTube page at the moment no I haven't no, I haven't put it up there yet I have just geared up my somebody or other who I have just geared up um, my royal guard because uh, he's going to be part of all of this but please take his TM away thank you right we want this one gone too slow okay right you go and now we want you gone like yesterday because you're the horrible one. Thank you. Oi, leave him alone. Oh, your turn meter's going, mate. Boff. Um, no, we'll keep on you at the moment. Knock your turn meter down. You've got a red thing on there, so it might be an assist. There's no assist. Right, let's get rid of... Add number one or two, I don't know whichever way you want to look at it. And now we start trying to keep this turn meter down and bash the hell out of this piggy. I'm probably going to drift whilst doing this. Uh, invariably what happens is I start going into one. Oh, yay. Yay, I'm liking that. TM down already. That's what Dengar's there to do, which should make managing his turn meter that much easier. So I normally just go with basics on everyone. I should have really gone basic there just because he's got two reds and Dengar has a 60% chance of calling in an assist to if there's negative buffs or whatever on on the person. So this doesn't bring in. There you go. That's part of the 40%. Oh, so is that. That isn't. Yay. Tebow to the rescue. There you go. That's what I'm on about. And the great one is... I oh, no hopefully we'll get it um so fives and fives and kaigon uh can bring in assists and it's lovely when the assist is dengar because then you get a threefold just like that was that timing or what i'm gonna stop recording right now no i'm not but yeah, that is what I went about. Uh, yeah, it just, hey, it all helps, doesn't it? I mean, it's it's a long old road to knocking this piggy down.
but um okay i do i i need as many points as possible because i'm still chasing only guild han i'm guessing that's what the og stands for for og han over st han um maybe somebody could let could inform me if if i'm way off mark on there actually you could it, i'd appreciate the comment anyway if if i if i'm right it would just like yeah i actually cracked us an acronym code code in fact while we're at it i've already asked on um i was looking through reddit a little earlier and um i was asking what tldr is because i don't know what tldr is please somebody help me obi-wan you're my only hope. So I'm just going to absolutely plagiarise Star Wars lines that I can actually remember during this. My favourite still, these are not the droids you're looking for. No, because it's a woogie. Anyone that's watched any of my videos, that was probably one of the first ones I ever did. And uh, yeah, it got loads, loads of laughs. So, yeah, yeah, so you've probably fallen asleep by now, but we're still going. He's, he's down into the 70s. Don't see his flares, mind you. Flares were the, the fashion in the 70s. I am that old. No. Turn me, uh, I was going to say, turn me, it seems to be climbing. I'm not liking that. Go on, there we go. There we go. Uh, you don't see them for ages and then you get two in quick succession. They're just like buses, aren't they? Uh oh. Get back, Dune. Uh, yeah, Scottish Embassy now on line one. Yeah, so I've I've done a few vids today already. Um, I've, as mentioned at the at the beginning of this, I've now reached level eighty four, which means that I've unlocked the. Um, what have I unlocked? In the challenges, the I I don't know whether they have a group name or not. Uh, I'm not switching out of this game to go and find it. But in your challenges uh, section, where you know you can do three of one and five of the other, um, I've unlocked the tier sixes. So if you're if you're new to my channel um, and you're curious, have a look through. You'll see them. They're in there. So 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 far there's two. There was the the droid something or other whatever it's called uh from yesterday i've got the memory of a goldfish sorry um and today it was bounty hunter so what i can do is i can tell you that the bounty hunter uh level five if you're doing the the level five or tv because they do it in roman numerals um gives you 93.3 is it thousand credits and the tier six, it goes up to 105,000. There you go. I've just saved you three minutes of your life. You don't have to watch the vid now. Although I'd appreciate it if you don't watch it, just here, give it a like anyway. No, Josh in, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm just rambling because this takes a while. I. Oh, yay. There you go. I tipped him over the edge. I really should. Oh, oh no, no. We're going to tip him over the edge now, so we're going to lose one of the. Tenacity is down, definitely are. Who are you gonna do? Alright, so there's death marks and now we're now I'm just looking underneath Gamorian Captain. Um he's got his horrible pikey thing that he can stick in one of my tunes if I or if, if I don't prevent him from going again. Uh the next one's on five. Oh, I don't even know what these are. I could click on them, but yeah. So the ideal here is to try to keep those now as a constant and not let them go down any but um that we will see won't we yes 
Yes, we will. Oh, crap. I didn't take the death mark off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See, this is me waffling. Yeah, phew. There we are. Death mark gone. Just in time, actually, by the looks of it. Because he's going to turn again. Ooh, nice one. If, oh, look at that. There is timing for you. Oh. Yeah. Go on, Tebow. Have a second go. No. Might get a second turn now. No. It's going to be fives all the way. because it. Has, yeah, you fives, you deserve that, mate. You're the one that tipped the turn meter over there. And I'm the one for giving you the Omega ability in, in the start. Yeah, I know. I know. But it's amazing how many times when RNG hates you, Fives is the only one that will assist any other person. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, we'll just see if we bring any assists in. Yes, we can. Thank you. So we're almost down to 50%. This is where I do my spiel there now about the fact that Kaigon is is one of the most useful and also the most vulnerable of this lineup. Or he is he is the most vulnerable in this lineup. Now the reason I say that is I'm about to use his assist on here. And if you watch whoever assists, don't look at what they score in the hit kind of look at their asses, which is normally where the green appears and the green is the health gain so here we go so you see there that Dengar got 4,000 health gain there so it's quite it's I think it's 20% I think it's 20% of their overall health um, is recovered when assisting Kaigon in a hit. Now, if you look, each time I fire, so Dengar's going to fire now. He's got 594, and Rex got 164 health. Now Tebow's going to go. Got 1,168 in health. Okay, now Kaigon's going to go. Nothing. Guy doesn't heal. If you haven't got a healer, Whatever damage he has, he sustains. There's no there's no improving on that. So that's why I say he is kind of like if you want a nursemaid one although I don't know how you actually go around nursemaiding on this because there isn't I don't have a taunter in here or anything. I mean it's all down to RNG and whether or not he's cloaked, stealthed whilst uh the uh, attacker is gonna go. Oh yay. Okay, so that's about one of the very few notification things that I haven't switched off. Apologies. But yeah, so back to Kai. Yeah, so he, he's the only one that won't heal himself. And would kind of like benefit from a healer. But he is my healer. He looks smug about that, doesn't he? Oh crap, I didn't realise these things come off. Yeah, that's probably going to stay off now. Apologies if you can hear my washing machine in the background. So one of the strats I try to use is that Kaigon only goes to four, well, most of the time, unless I think I'm just in danger and I'm just trying to score as much as I can before before the imminent ending of the uh, the raid. But otherwise, in that Kaigon, I normally save his assist attacks for when Tebow is stealthed. 
in the hope that Tebow assists not fives because fives is just being greedy tonight. He wants all the assists, apparently. Oh, why didn't I do the thing? Yeah. Look, see that? He, he, oh, what is that about? So he fires, he calls in the assist. The assist comes from Dengar. Dengar promotes an assist himself. And it's fives. What is that about? Yay, we got Tenacity down again. Oh, crap. The Tenacity up was in preparation for that. And in the hope that maybe Tebow would have stealthed and just hit him. Uh, I'm getting impatient. Get back to the plan. Yes, I do. I was going to say, is it just me or is his turn meter just going up? Thank you. It wasn't so long ago that I was posting some seriously high scores here on on the raid um, those alas have become a thing of the past I mean I can solo phase one uh, I I'm, I can't get past phase two now whereas I was getting you know, regularly in all the way into phase four in fact one of the goes I actually deliberately <coughs> let my team die uh, because I I thought I was going to complete it um, with this with this exact team here, yeah I thought I was actually going to complete it, and I could see the the in game chat asking about um, so the way sorry maybe I should explain from the outset the way that my guild AAA stars operates is that we uh, we have a single squad attack. So the raid starts, everyone chooses a squad and goes and has one attempt. Um, and then what there's a, we use the word Zerg um, as the kind of like the, the free for all go ahead. And that normally takes place. Well, it normally it's, it's normally prearranged. This is a heroic. Uh, we're pretty good on heroics. We are. Uh, yeah, we are pretty good. So um, this literally, I've just started it. Uh, I can't even see what the time is now, but um, I'm UK UK time, London. Um, so for me, this started at half past six, and at half past eight, there'll be the free for all, and by in two minutes, it will be done. So. Uh, that's not me bragging, that's me just saying, I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of guilds that do it or do it even quicker than that. Um, that's me just saying that, that our guild, you know, we're capable, well, we're more than capable of, of this. And uh, this, the way that we operate this is, is just to give everyone an opportunity of the various rewards and yeah and the organization the structure for it i mean it works it really does work and we've got players from or well, from europe from north america um from asia so yeah no and, and it works yeah it does
So we're down to 10%. Now this is normally where he resists, resists, resists. Somewhere between here and 2% he'll resist all my attacks. And he's going to land one on Kaigon. And I'm going to get all upset after telling you that Kaigon's my, my ace in the hole. As long as he doesn't take any damage. I'm not saying he's a glass cannon. He's not a glass cannon, but... Once the Rancor starts, it's um, yeah, it's game over. And if the piggy has already taken a big chunk out of his protection, then then I'm in trouble. I am going to stealth because I want to try and keep his turn meter down. There you go. There's another triple that I was saying about earlier. We're down to 3%, 2.5%. See, now he's... Oh, look at that. I, I guarantee you it will be Kai gone. Oh, I was wrong. I'll take that back. Nom, nom, nom. That's me eating humble pie. <laughs> so who's getting the kill? Who's it going to? Not Rex. Oh, it was Rex. Oh, okay. So your reward for killing all the piggies is to then get assaulted by a giant rancor. Some days you wake up and think, what? What did I do? Okay, so now the idea is he's not stealthed, so hit the box. We're going to try and put the turn mitt. No, that's not worked. Um, you know what? I'm going to just... Damn, I really should have saved it. Never mind. So now it's just a case of hitting the rank car. Rank. I don't know where that accent came from. Uh, with whatever we've got. And just trying to get this percentage down. Because if we can get it below 50, then whatever we hit him with tends to stick more anyway. So we've almost taken 5% out of him. Before he pushes the door back up. We have slowed him down. So if we can get Dengar to... I'm not sure. Oh, right. There it is there. Let's see. Yes. Right. That should help to start to manage his turn meter now oh it's even better when so my another tip if you're not already doing it whenever if Tebow is natural well, naturally stealthed through his leader then don't hit the other one save that for when he isn't stealthed so now he's come unstealthed now I will stealth him and then he'll get his go because he gets 100% turn meter for Bringing in that stealth. Yes, you can have some. Go on, Tebow. Do your stuff. Yeah, there we go. And now, of course, as I say, Tebow. Yeah, there we go. That That's that combination that I'm not always looking for. <clears throat> if you're wondering, because I keep going on about fives, you know, being the baddie here or whatever, and and bringing in the the turn meter quickly. What was that? Um, 
and you're wondering well if that's the case why is he there he's there to put the, the to put the slow buff or yeah the slow down speed down buff onto the rancor and to the pigs because you're doing a combination thing here you want the turn meter down which dengar provides um and if you can slow him down as well then then it just makes stuff a lot easier and ideally he's not going to resist as much but there is always that 15 percent built-in resistance apparently which we're seeing here so tebow see i haven't stealthed him he's naturally stealthed through his leader ability and happy days now if he can go and knock that out there we are Um, everyone here has got speed just in case you're wondering they've all got the, the 30 speed mod. actually no I lie um, 4 out of the 5 have got speed the only one that doesn't have speed is 5's because although you want him to apply the speed down what you don't want is him going all the time which is kind of why I've been like, really, it's him all the time on the assists. Because, you know, ideally, I don't want him going as... There you go. So he comes in straight away and assists there. And he assists again. Really? Again? Go on, Tebow. Yeah. So it's... um. I'm uh, okay I, again I'm into waffle mode now so apologies but I am loving so Tebow Tebow has had his place pretty much everywhere um you get him as you're going up the the arena ranks you'll get quite a lot of Tebow teams because obviously uh, if different opponents are stealthed at different times it, it kind of spreads out the damage you can possibly do so he's got space, you know, he, he's got viability in in the arena raids, uh, arena challenges. Of course, as you see in here, he, I, I think he's always had a place. I mean, Tebow is kind of like, most people are going to use Tebow as the lead in a pit raid um, because of his turn meter reduction. Thank you very much, Tebow, for it. It's, giving an example there of that um tank raid i'm seeing discussions in tank raid about potentially using tebow in phase three i'll come back to that one because of yeah what i'm gonna go carry on with so yeah T tebow out of the ewoks is, is probably the most used but then a lot of the time you'll see that he'll be used with Ewok Elder, the, the healing Ewok. Um, because if you use the Elder, the Elder actually accelerates Tebow's turn meter. So effectively, Elder accelerates Tebow and gets Tebow to go more often. Um, again, you can see him in. Um, okay, have a lovely, have a lovely evening, and and hope that. The rest of the week continues. I'll see you tomorrow night anyway. Uh oh. Bye. Bye, The So I was saying goodbye to my daughter. Bye. Um, da -ba -ba -ba, where was I? Where was I? Yeah, so Ewok Elder. And yeah, you'll see, you will see him a bit again as you move up the. Um, the pvp ranks you, you you'll see slight elder appearing sometimes because not only does he accelerate um tebow but he is a healer oh no 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 pop that up 
I need Tebow or something. Go on. Hoo, 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 clutch. So, yeah, um, this is me not concentrating on what I'm doing, isn't it? Um, yeah, so you will see him. Yeah, so he... Uh, get back on the point. So he heals. He cleanses. So he will remove any uh, debuffs that you're that you have and he also revives so he's quite again he's a great utility player he's Ewok Elder so now what I'm doing is I am reducing the turn meter oh, what I am going to do is fives can shoot the panel because fives will just increase the turn meter. Dengar's going to stay on him because he calls an assist, and of course, silly me, the assist is always going to be fives apparently. Uh oh, we're going to just take that out because I don't think I was going to rescue. So we started on 73%. We're normally hitting about 5% as such on taking advantage of him being trapped under the door. Oh, what I'll do then? Yeah, okay, I did then. Yay! Oh, nobody backed that up, really? Oh. So, it was, yeah, it was 5%, wasn't it? It went from 73 to 68. And we've kept the turn meter, turn meter down on him. Even though we lost a turn because we dropped the door on him. And he's not very happy with us. Why didn't I go with the double attack there? Fives again. What is it? Well, there you go. That's that's probably the best th three. Uh, three pronged attack I could have wished for there poop hey dog uh oh I need. Oh. No, we're going to get hit. <laughs> so the tenacity up from Rex did protect us somewhat there protected this time I'm just going to hit him with what I've got because he is going to hit me oh I've lost my T-bone I'm 
Yeah, I doubt if we're going to get through this phase. So what are your takes on on the the pit? Is it still going the same way for you? I mean, I'm, I'd be curious on that because I must admit, since maybe it's that I use fives, but since they adjusted what fives was doing, um, yeah, I'm I'm not getting anywhere. Well, that's not fair to say not getting anywhere. I've got to what fifty percent of phase so one and a half phases well actually because i ain't gonna even make it to 50 percent everything I've got really now wow okay and that's the pit raid done for another day I think we're averaging one every two days so just in case you oh that's not too bad 3200 um yeah that's one go so that's my oh this is my screenshot and that's my rancor pit raid heroic done for another day oh. where am i on the board third oh that's close okay we'll keep an eye on that um yeah and oh, just to show you, if we go into rewards, that's what you're looking at for the heroics. So everyone down to, well, from, f so what you get, you get 10 for first, nine for second, eight for third, and then from fourth till 10th, you get seven, 11th to 15th, five, sorry, 11th to 20th, five, 21 to 33, 31 to 42, oh, and 41 yeah. to 51 shard, OG shards. Uh, this has been Mike. This has been my Rancor Pit Raid on the 8th of November. Thank you for watching and Mike checking out.